Good morning, everyone. It is another cool and overcast day. Uh, last time you saw me, it was about 64 degrees for a high here in late May, which is insane for Georgia. Obviously, this is very interesting herping weather, and we're trying to take advantage of it as much as possible. So today I'm out here with my buddy Gabe in the Atlanta city limits, and we are trying our best to turn up an eastern king snake in the Atlanta city limits inside the perimeter. Um, obviously, this could be quite a difficult undertaking, but we're going to hit it pretty hard today and see what we can turn up. So our plan today is to just basically hop between a bunch of parks here in Atlanta and just figure out which one looks the best for king snakes and spend the day basically grinding out, hoping to find one. So this is our first stop. It looks pretty good. Uh, kind of close canopy. We're looking for something with a little bit of openness to it and uh, typical king snake habitat. So I mean, I could completely see one being here, but it's not really conducive to finding them, I guess would be a good way to put it. It's going to be hard to actually locate one here, um, but we're going to try a little bit and we'll see if we can turn up. All right, guys, here's our first find of the day, and I must say it's a pretty encouraging one. Uh, there's an eastern box turtle sitting right there. Gabe spotted this guy as we were making our way through the forest. And this is my first, I would assume, my first Atlanta City Limits box turtle. I think these guys are generally a pretty good indicator that the ecosystem is all around rather healthy, and they're definitely a good indicator that it's good king snake weather. So we're going to leave this guy right here and keep hitting it, see what else we can turn up. Go. Oh my god, dude. Uh. That should have been it. Well, guys, we're meandering around this abandoned lot, and we just turned up our second box turtle of the day. So this has to be a half decent spot if there's this many of these guys hanging out. We're just gonna leave that one right there too and keep hiking. Box turtle spot, ITP. <laughs> All right, guys, well, it took a while, but I just flipped our first snake of the day in Atlanta. This is a little uh, worm snake, pretty common, pretty much everywhere, but it is the first snake of the day we've seen. So I uh, figured I'd show you guys real quick, but we're just gonna put this guy back under his rock and keep looking for a king or anything else. There has been a decent amount of herp activity. We've seen a couple box turtles and now this guy in about an hour and a half, two hours maybe. So it's been relatively productive so far, but we're gonna let this guy go and keep at it. <laughs> So I Gabe just flipped to roofing next. <laughs> That's so weird, dude. That's awesome. They were under the tent on the roof of this building. Let's get the rest of this stuff. Yeah. Oh. Can we get a roof king? Oh, this has got to be good. There's got to be more stuff. Oh, man, dude. Right on the corner. Yeah, so we got a rat snake shed right here. There's a skink right there. That's so crazy, dude. Well, there you go. Our next two snakes of the day. Two ring necks flipped under 10 on the roof of a building, if you can believe that. I mean, normally ring necks aren't much to get excited about, but we are in the Atlanta city limits and they were roof ring necks. So there you go. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that up, but I'm going to go check inside. Look at this. You can probably just put them in the leaves right there. Yeah. And they'll figure their way under the tent. Yeah. All right, guys, we are at our next park of the day. Uh, the first one was relatively productive. We got two ring necks and worm snake, a couple box turtles, but no big snakes. And uh, certainly no king snakes, but this one is one of the better looking spots we're going to hit today. So we're going to get after it and I'll keep you guys posted. Hopefully this one will do the trick. This has been one of the most common reptiles we've seen today. A little five line skink just hanging out on this bridge. But we've seen a good number of them um, flipping and out in the open, but it's starting to feel really good out here for snakes. So hopefully we'll see some soon. That's amazing. <laughs> So uh, apparently toads are not terribly common in the Atlanta city limits. And this is only the second one Gabe's ever seen here, but 
Flip this guy under a rock. This is a good indicator that there could be hognose snakes at this park, which is awesome. That would be a really great way to round out the day if we get a hog, but we're just gonna let this guy go. Pretty cool. So we're uh, currently walking this power line cut. It's one of the better looking sections of habitat we've seen um, when you're in city limits like this. The amount of habitat is pretty limited that you have to work with. So you have to work with what you get. And this is some of the best looking stuff we've seen. Nice edge habitat for kings. Uh, just about any snake in the area could turn up in this habitat, but we're just not seeing it. Flip clip of uh, what's definitely, this thing's not even gonna flip. Ooh, it did flip and it sucked. Check that out guys bunch of turtles out there at least two of which are big snapping turtles the one in the front and the one in the back are big snappers but that thing in the middle looks like a painted or something look at that wish we could get out and get a better look at those guys that's a big turtle dude that one in the back is massive so i was shimmying over this rock ledge like gabe is right now and i looked into this and i saw that i had a heart attack dude anyways we're almost across overexposed but <laughs> All right, guys, we were walking along the top of this here, and we saw an Erodia jump in the water right there. We came back down, and I was actually able to get him out from under the bank. So, first Nerodia of the day in hand. Pretty dull for a Midland water snake, but it's our first sizable snake of the day we've caught. Hopefully, you can hear me okay with this torrent raging, but I'll take it. Trying to get him to. <laughs> he went the complete opposite direction. Got my life for a uh, copperhead, like right along the creek bed down here. Nice. I was pulling out English ivy and almost picked it up with a little, <laughs> little neonate. Lovely. Well, this is our next spot, guys. This is uh, some of the best forested habitat left in the city of Atlanta. As you can see, absolutely beautiful place. And there are known to be king snakes, copperheads, other cool stuff here. So we're going to get after it here for a little bit and see what we can turn up. Rock wall. Oh, yeah. Over winter in there. It's fresh still. Big money, Tim. Next to me. All right, ready when you are. Got it. Moist. Dude, that looks so good. A mouse. Too nice. The flipping has not been uh been with us today. Oh brown snake. Nice. Nice. The flipping is now with us in the form of a brown snake. Well, we're racking up the diversity today. We just haven't found anything to really put some bop in our day. Just a bunch of common snakes, the things you'd expect. But, I mean, I'll take it. We are in the city limits of Atlanta, so not bad. So I told Gabe we should double flip and make sure we didn't miss anything. Um, good thing we did, because there was another brown snake. Look at that. Two of them under this piece. And just like that, one brown snake turned into two. All right, they, they're looking like they're... Okay, that works. Well, he's just gonna crawl off into the forest like I was worried about. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Come on. Well, Gabe just flipped that rock and underneath it was another little ring neck. So we're really racking up the numbers today too now. It's just a bunch of common stuff though. It would really be nice to seal off the day with something bigger like a king or a rat. Um, but I'll take it. Well, there's another water snake, guys, hanging out right there. We're going to try to sneak up on him. I 
And since we harassed the last Nerodia we found, we're just gonna leave that one right there and see if we can turn up anything else. All right, guys, we just found something absolutely unbelievable. Turned our complete our day completely around 180, just like that. But here's the thing, it was under this tarp, and I'm not gonna tell you what it was. You're gonna have to go watch Nature with Gabe's video about today to see it. So I, I think you'll understand when you see what he found under this tarp, how cool it is and how rare it is. But you're gonna have to go check out his clip to get the full story. Well, here's our next snake of the day, another water snake. I might actually try to get hands on this one because it's looking like it's a pretty nice one. And uh, it's been miserably slow for the past hour or so. We haven't seen anything really. Here's Gabe digging through actual crackhead trash in Atlanta, looking for, this is how desperate we've gotten. <laughs> Dude, Gabe just flipped the nicest brown snake of all time under a hobo's jacket. Dude, that is insane. That thing is beautiful. It's like the nicest case I've ever seen. Yeah, that's so nice. <laughs> Oof, calm down. Look at this snake. That is insane. I was not expecting that. Well, you heard it here, folks. Never pass up the opportunity to flip a discarded hobo's jacket. Dude, the king's under the pants, I'm telling you. Ring neck, two snakes, and this discarded hobo trash. All right, I'm gonna pass this guy off to Gabe and I'm gonna flip the rest of this trash. All right, the king's under the pants, according to Gabe. Ugh. There's nothing under the pants. There's so much water in this tent. Oh, here's another uh, nice, this is a sleeping bag here. Nobody hanging out under that. Did you look under this? No, I haven't. There's more clothes right there. Dude, that's gross, dude. Ew, a can. Trash in the background. All right, I'm gonna put this ring neck back under his tent. And we're gonna photograph this brown snake because he's sick. Well, guys, it was not the most stellar day of field, but this guy has definitely been the highlight so far. That is such a sick looking brown snake. Um, just a perfect example of how even the most common snakes can be exceptional from time to time if you happen upon the right individual. But what an awesome looking snake. What a great way to end the day. Uh, we did not get our king snake today. There's still a slight chance we could on the way back to the car, but I mean, what are the odds of that? Um, so we're probably just gonna let this guy go and this might end up being the end of the video. I know it was on a it was a bit on the slow side, but if you enjoyed this type of kind of exploratory herping, doing some weird stuff, um, not really in search of big targets, but looking for kind of common stuff in weird places, uh, let me know. And if not, I will probably refrain from uploading this type of video again unless we have like a super successful day out here. But I'm gonna keep trying for the Atlanta king snake inside the city limits, and uh, if I get one, then you guys will know about it eventually. All right, guys, we are gonna release this brown snake back under his jacket sleeping bag. I think that's a jacket, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's a heavy jacket. But we're gonna put him right back and keep harping. Coronabos.